is <laughs> not not sketchy in the least, you know? Not even a little bit. <laughs> Well, it is super early in the morning and we are at the Sweetler and Thayer Preserves looking for some big waterfalls that are seldom visited in this area. Much less known than Buttermilk Falls, but two feet down the road, in fact, our motel is like right over there. This is technically called the Lick, Lick Brook Stream Trail, but it's also, the parking is at, uh, you could go to the top we're parked at the bottom because it's literally two seconds from our hotel. And that is the Finger Lakes Trail <laughs> parking lot. So there's a whole lot of different trails being thrown around in here. But from the photos, this is going to be worth it. Watch out. They have an emerald ash borer infestation. This is all that's left of the stream, and it's a it's a big stream bed. But if if this is what the water flow is down here, I'm a little worried about what the waterfalls are gonna look like. Uh, yesterday the waterfalls were huge, so I'm not sure. Oh, I can see it from here. That's nice. That's uh, tremendously large. The GoPro being as wide angle as it is, doesn't necessarily do it justice, but like that cutout over here is just humongous. Can't even imagine how powerful the water must be at times to cut that much. But it's supposed to be three waterfalls and that is the first one. So. Looks like we're going to be heading uphill quite a bit from here. Fun times. We thought that this is just the top of the first one, but the first one's actually all the way over here, down there. So this is actually the second waterfall. You can see it's like tumbling up there, but there's no way, there's absolutely no way down there unless you're like climbing or something because that is just beyond steep. But. That looks like such a fun little spot <laughs> to hang out. That's a shame you can't get down there. There's a tiny little trickle of a waterfall over there. Maybe after some intense rain, this uh, has a nice flow to it. Man, there is just something about New York and stairs. Like everywhere we hike, there's just stairs everywhere. So my knee has been feeling pretty good. Um, still feel the occasional little pop, but no more pain, just a little weakness. And uh, the more I hike, the more it goes away. So it's definitely strengthening me up. But like, holy crap, what is with New York and all these stairs? I hate them. I hate them. Nina's not a fan either. Wow, probably can't see that. 
I'll try zooming in, but that is tremendously huge. Doesn't seem like there's a very good way to view this thing. I switched to the DSLR so you guys can see it. Really got to zoom in to see the top. And then it goes all the way down. But it, there, there's so much plant growth you can't see it. And there is definitely, absolutely no way down there. If I zoom in, you see it's very, very large. Tremendously long drop. That is definitely one of the sketchier places we've gone to for a photograph. It's just so far away. I mean, with the naked eye, I can see that really nice. But on camera, you know, it just seems so much further. So we're heading back down now. Super steep. Probably just jet right back down the blue trail we took. But we might go down the white trail because it's a little less steep. And then off to get Nina some coffee because we've been up since 7 and it's like 9.30. It's definitely overdue. And we are back at the bottom. So, honestly, like this first waterfall is worth coming to. It's a very flat hike to get down to this one and then it's pretty steep to get up to the other two and you don't have like a tremendous view of the third one at all um super worth going to we're only here for a little while honestly maybe an hour and we like really stopped for a long time to take good photos and stuff so if you're just hiking it's a short trip to three really nice waterfalls but this first one even if you don't want to go up you know the steep hill this is this is so simple and easy to get to it's worth visiting so lick brook falls at the uh thayer and swedler swedler and thayer preserves we parked at the bottom you could park at the top and now quick like 10 minute walk back and we're done so we'll see you on the next one